Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn video. In this video we're going to be looking at the different types of entity relationship diagrams, the conceptual, log logical and physical level diagrams. Okay, let's get started. So let's give you a quick introduction to what entity relationship diagrams are. So these diagrams are used right throughout the development process and they provide a visual representation of the database structure and this allows you to communicate with stakeholders, uh, especially those who don't understand about database design, what they look like. Uh, and they allow they guide the whole process really right through from initial requirements gathering through to analysis and development, all the way through to the maintenance phase uh, where they serve as documentation for the database schema. Okay, and there are three different types of entity relationship diagrams. And the idea being is that as we progress from the conceptual through to the logical and physical, as the progress uh, progresses, then these diagrams become more and more fixed, more and more detailed. Um, so let's have a look. So we go conceptual, then that leads through to the logical diagram and the physical. And that level of detail as you're going through increases from one to the next to the next. Okay, so let's have a look at the first type, which is the conceptual entity relationship diagram. So this really it focuses on high level relationships between the entities. Uh, it's the least detailed and you use this in the initial stages of design really to just get an idea of what the general system is going to look like, uh, what kind of things need to be stored and what the relationships are between those different things that you're going to store in the database. And it helps st uh, stakeholders understand the scope of the project and the requirements of the database so that you can develop it further. So this is used by business al analysts, uh, all of the different stakeholders in the system and project managers to first guide the project. So let's have a look at a simple conceptual entity relationship diagram. Here we've got a, a library loan system. And as you can see, really, there's only two things that are being stored here that are being represented. You have entities, which are things. So we're going to have books, loans, fines, students and publishers. And then the basic connections between them, the relationships between. OK, so a student has a loan and that loan might have a fine. Um, and on that loan are books and books are published by publishers. So that's your, your basic one. Um, and as you can see, probably most people, even non-specialists, will be able to understand those kind of relationship diagrams. So let's move on to the second diagram, which is the logical entity relationship diagram. So as we move further into the project here, uh, we start to translate the conceptual model into a more relational schema. Um, and what we do here is we start to really build the attributes for each of the entities. Uh, we define what's called the cardinality, so the different types of relationships that we're going to have between them, and what kind of participations constraints we're going to have. Are these things required? Are they optional? And we'll also might include here primary and foreign keys to really start to connect these different tables together. And this is used for database designers, uh, data architects, and developers during the development process. So let's have a look at that. Here we go. So we've got a logical ERD, pretty much the same as before, really. It's got the same entities. It's got relations. Um, but now we've started to add a little bit more detail onto each what's going to be contained within each table. So, for instance, we're going to have a primary key, which we've got in bold there. Um, and each table is going to have a primary key. And also some of the tables which link to others are going to have foreign keys, which show the primary key in other tables. Uh, we're going to have a number of different attributes. So, for instance, first name, last name, email address, all the different attributes that are going to be stored within that table. And we're also going to have things like cardinal uh, cardinality as well. So what kind of relationship uh, is there between these different tables? Is it a one to one relationship, a one to many or a many to many relationship? Uh, we also here as well specify the participation whether something is optional or required. So for instance, on the publisher table, if you've got a publisher, it needs to have a name. So that's underlined. But things like telephone, email and website address, those are all optional. So those aren't underlined. 
There we go. So that's an example of a logical ERD, which then leads us on to the final uh, ERD, which is the physical entity relationship diagram. So this uh, tries to represent the actual implementation of the database, usually down to a specific type of database management system, uh, so that you really, by this point, you're ready to start building, optimizing, uh, and then finally afterwards maintaining the database itself. Um, so this includes all sorts of different things uh, like data types, indexing, uh, storage options, and then constraints within in individual tables. Um, and these are used for database administrators, system administrators, and obviously uh, develop as well when they're finally implementing the system. So let's have a look at that physical entity relationship diagram. And there you go. It looks fairly similar to the previous diagram, um, not too much different. Um, but you'll notice here that first of all, we've now included all the data types. Oh, so I put date, date types there instead of data types. So we put the data types here, not date types. Um, so for instance, date time or integers, um, and also anything where text, where we've got varchar, um, we there have put the length of the um, that particular, you know, the maximum length of that particular attribute. So we've got the data types, not date types, oops. And also here, uh, where we've had a many-to-many -many relationship, we've now actually included the physical junction table that's going to be used with here, where we've got a composite key here, um to connect the different uh, the loan and the book tables so we've broken that into the level of detail that we need there we go okay so those are the three different types of erd and here's a quick review of them okay so we've got the conceptual erd which focuses on the high level business concepts and relationships uh then we've got the logical erd um, which again starts to add more detail into the uh, the model and then finally we've got the physical ERD which is the actual implementation dealing with things like data types and um, junction tables and other things as well okay there you go so that are uh, those are the three different types of entity relationship diagrams and that's about it if you've got any questions then feel free to put them in the comments and if you do like the video, then please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.